Jim Harrison took up amateur radio communication as a hobby 20 years ago when he was confined to his wheelchair. For him, it's been a lifeline. There's no way to measure the satisfaction that you get being able to contact others, either locally, statewide, or nationwide, or worldwide. Even though we cannot speak the same language, we can understand each other by Morse code. But even that traditional ticket to the ranks of licensed amateur operators is becoming less important. Generally, uh, technology has increased to the point where uh, it's really not necessary to know the code. Uh, there are many types of communications which don't require the code. A proposal to offer a no-code license is presently under study by the Federal Communications Commission. Well, I anticipate with the loosening up of the uh, requirements, you're going to see a lot more people become ra ham radio operators and, and talk uh, worldwide. Freeman says the FCC is essentially pulling out of regulating ham radio operators to devote itself more to the technological explosion in the communications industry. New advances are overcrowding the radio frequency spectrum. That explosion has placed 400,000 radio hobbyists like Jim Harrison increasingly in competition with commercial interests. It's a battle that's only expected to get tougher as the crush for new frequencies increase. In code, that's Kathleen Bachman, The Daily News.